want to introduce myself. I'm John Marshall Jones. I was born a child. In the city of Detroit, Michigan. Any Detroiters in the house? All right, congratulations on your escape. You know, um, Detroit in the 1970s was a car town. And everybody, what you did was you went to high school and then you left right out with your diploma. You walked down to the factory, you put in your application, you got a job. And that job paid you good money. You could buy a house, raise a family with it. I grew up in that time. And my parents believed in work. And they did not believe that acting was work. They believed that acting was what you did when you weren't working. So the idea of convincing them that this was something worthwhile to do was an uphill battle for me. But my parents also believed in education. And they thought that education was the key that would set you free from whatever might hold you back. So when high school time came, I had, they had a choice to send me to the public high school or to a private high school for gifted kids. Now, there was really nothing wrong with the public high school. But my father was a very, very wise man. And my father knew that the people that I was going to be around at the public high school thought diploma, high school diploma, job at the factory. But the people that I was going to be around at the private school thought high school diploma, Harvard, Yale, Northwestern, Stanford. So they sent me to the private school. Not because the education was so much better, although it was, but because it would change the way I saw myself. And when I started to see myself differently, my whole life would change. So what happened? I go to the school and everybody around me is talking about going to Harvard, Yale, Northwestern, Stanford. So after a year or two, I start thinking I should go to Harvard, Yale, Northwestern, Stanford. I'm smart as they are. And so I applied to those schools. I chose Northwestern. And when I got to Northwestern, they had the number one drama school in the country. And they had this whole list of movie stars and TV stars that were alumni. And I started thinking, well, I should be a movie star, a TV star. I'm as good as they are. So now, 30 years later, five television series, 20 movies, 20 movies of the week, a whole long career of achievement in the field of entertainment. And it all happened because my parents chose to place me amongst people who thought higher of themselves than the people I would have been around if they didn't put me there. Now today, for all of you kids, understand this, because the parents know this. When your parents make a choice like this, it's not cheap and your parents aren't rich, but they have decided that there were things that they could be doing that they're gonna put on the back burner because they see something special in you. Now, there's a funny thing that happens with your dream. You're the only one that can actually see it. You try to describe it in words, but people can't get the picture of what's actually in your mind, except for the people who really love you. Because the people who really love you can see your future as clear as you can. And they make sacrifices to make sure that what you see in your head happens for you in your life. 